This Office Mix is going to talk about what is new in the Dynamics AX user experience. For all of those people that are on CTP7, it will show you what you will get when you upgrade to CTP8, and ultimately what you will get when you upgrade to the February release of Dynamics AX. So let's talk about the messaging experience within Dynamics AX. First thing I want to talk about is the notification center. The notification center is the little bell that you see in the navigation bar. And as messages get routed to this message center, they typically come from long running tasks. And what we were noticing is that people were not noticing when those messages were arriving or so when a long running task completed. So now we display a little notification message, as you can see here, that will indicate that the task has been completed and this will go away on its own. And then you can click on the message center if you want more details. Next, I wanna show you what's gonna happen when we send multiple messages to the message center. That experience has been greatly improved. So I'm sitting on a general journal entry that is going to fail validation. So let me go ahead and do a validate. And just wait for this to complete. And when it completes, we get a message sent to the message center. So you can see this notification. If I click on the notification, it opens up the message center and it now gives me a message details link. When I click on that, you now see a list of all of the errors that happened when I did that validation much better experience than we had in CTP8. Now let me show you a fun little feature that we have of being able to look behind a message. So in this case here, I've selected Maplewood Inc. and I want to delete that customer. And when I do this, the message appears over the top of the record I've selected. So I'm not exactly sure which record I've selected. Now you have the ability to click behind and you can peek and see, yes, I've selected the right thing. And then when you're ready, you can just click yes on the dialogue. Note this also works for any of the sliders or any of the dialogues that appear on the right. You can peek behind those as well. Very nice little feature that you probably wouldn't have discovered on your own.